know what's funny about this camera? Every time I use it, I keep thinking of the Red Robin commercial because I always say red button because it's, it's, it tells me if it's recording or not, no mic or not or anything like that. So how is everybody doing today? It is August 1st. It is 11.25 a.m. I'm just here to freestyle right now. I got to get this video out of the way. And I always say that. There's just one dilemma. I wish I could come up with better backdrops. But it's a short notice. Plus, I can't find my other blanket. Don't worry, I don't sleep. This is not the blanket I sleep in. This is a one that I found that a friend of mine gave me, washed it. It's supposed to be iron, but it's folded. And these backdrops make up for defects, but I want cooler backdrops. I just don't have the space for it. I'm going to have to grab my phone one day and film the room to show you guys what I'm talking about. You know, it's been a weird month of July. Right now, it's a scorcher. It's going to be 90 degrees. But it was cold last week, and then it was hot the week before that. Then they say it's going to rain, but then it's sunny. It's a fucking weather. I'm wondering if this is going to be one of those weird years where the summer doesn't end, and then it goes into November, and it's still hot. We've had a lot of deaths these past few days. Uh, back in May, we lost Chris... Well, I didn't lose him. You guys lost him. Chris Cornell. I wasn't a big fan of that sound garden, man. I never liked that stupid grunge thing, but whatever. Chris Cornell passed away. And I think last week or the week before that, the guy... Uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, what's the guy's name? Let me tell you right now. Chester Bennington from the band Linkin Park passed away. What I found weird is that both of these deaths were drug-related. They say overdose or something, and I'm like, uh, you know, I'm surprised people are still doing drugs. I, I understand they're doing it when, at the height of their fame, but they always die, you know, on, with drug-related stuff, even after their success is kind of winding down. You figure by now they'd be busy doing other stuff. I mean, they're not millennials per se, but, you know, we, are, we learn from our mistakes from our forefathers that we don't want to fall into that same category, don't we? Don't we? I mean, I know for a fact about a year ago, I was a wreck. This year, I'm a little bit better, but my health is suffering. That's why I haven't done any videos in these past few days, because I've had, I've been all backed up. I've had some health issues of my own. Nothing to be alarmed of or anything like that, but they they are rather distracting. They won't let you do anything. Because when you have a cold, you wouldn't really want to see me do a video when you have a cold and you're going like this, huh, play that, stuff like that. But yeah, it's like 10 years ago, the lead singer of the band Quiet Riot, Kevin Dubro, passed away. And I think he was an overdose. But by then, Quiet Riot was long gone, passe. It's like some people just never grow out of their habits. <laughs> you know what's weird? I, buy, I keep buying VCRs, and I don't really use them. I say I'm going to use it for something because some VCRs have better audio than others. And I discovered one funny little detail. And give me a second while I find that plastic bag. It's right here. It's this plastic bag. Everybody here knows I'm a wrestling fan. I talked about wrestling a lot of times. And I want to show you something here. This is a year that I don't like to relive from a wrestling standpoint. On a personal level, 2001 was a good year for me. But wrestling-wise, it sucked. Check this thing out. I have a DVD recorder, and it just sits here collecting dust. I did some DVDs, but I always go out of my way because my VHS is always giving me an issues with copyright crap and anything and whatnot. But guess what? Look at all of this. Look at all of this. You know what this is? This is WWE in 2001 and some WCW in 2001. WCW got very weird around 2001. But WWE started off good, and it ended badly. After WrestleMania X7, it ended badly. My point is that I don't like 2001, and I don't know why I haven't sold these tapes, why I haven't transferred them to DVDs or anything like that, which is my project for this summer. I want to process all these shits. The problem is that in 2001, I remember I bought a General Electric VCR. Remember that band? Remember that brand, GE? That VCR wasn't very good. It gave bad image quality. It was probably good for playback, but not good for recording. So a lot of my 2001 collection has bad audio, but it has bright image, but very wobbly image that looks like this, like this, like the Jacob's Ladder movie. It looks like this, and tracking it is annoying. And this is my issue with a lot of you out there who transfer uh, VHS to DVDs. Learn how to do it. Adjust the speed mode to the right speed mode. Use 
SLP, no, not SLP, use SSP or SP for DVDs. If the, if the image quality or the source where you're getting is really, really sharp like DVD, then decrease the image a little bit so you can squeeze in some more. I mean, we all like high-def stuff, but come on, it's, it's space-wise. Some people use like a crappy speed mode, and they only record two hours, and they have this big, well, it's big, and the screen looks small, but this is they use this little space for a DVD, and they have this space left. See what I'm talking about? And that's the issue I'm having right now with the VCRs that I'm using. I'm gonna, I gotta charge for all this stuff, and I wanna sell these 2001 things. I don't even watch this stuff. I, 2001 WWE is not my favorite year. I said it I said it earlier. And the fact that, I, why do I have this stuff, and why am I not throwing away? Do I, want, do, do I wanna live in the past? 2001 is one year that I very rarely visit. I had the same issue with 1995 WWE. Now, WCW 1995 is another story. I actually revisit 1995 WCW, and, I, and aside from the goofy uh, Hogan booking, they made him look like John Cena, where, you know, John Cena can't lose. They do the same exact thing. So that's one of my projects I have for this month. And another side note, I was going to do a blog, when I, but I should have done this back when it happened, but I was sick at the time. But I still went to the movie theaters. And that is, even though I'm wearing a Superman shirt, and that is Batman versus Superman. Boy, Michael Keaton sure likes being in a lot of superhero movies. Wasn't he uh, Harvey Birdman, B Boardman, Harvey Schiller, Harvey Whippleman? What was that movie anyway? I, I DVR'd it on HBO in my job, and I didn't watch it. And uh, I should I should have watched it. This is when I was doing the mindless blog about a year ago. But yeah, Michael Keaton has a habit of being in a lot of superhero movies. And if not, he's in a movie with another superhero. But you ever remember the movie The Other Guys with, uh, what's his name? Uh, with uh, Mark Wahlberg and uh, Will Ferrell? Well, Mark Wahlberg was also a superhero, sort of. Was he a superhero? No, he wasn't a superhero. But he was Max Payne. I don't know why they went with Mark Wahlberg as Max Payne. They could have gone with Johnny Knoxville instead, but... Anyway, he was in the anyway in the movie. The other guys, his boss in the movie, the his commander, whatever, whatever is Michael Keaton, and one of the bad guys in the movie is Ray Stevens. That's the guy's name, Ray Stevens, Ray Donovan. I forgot the guy's name. I think it's Ray Stevens. Not to be mistaken with the wrestler. You got Batman versus the Punisher. Now Spider Man, Homecoming, or or or, or Kingdom Come. Anyway, that was a good movie. I liked it, and I liked the fact that they didn't go. They didn't do another origin story. They went straight to the point. They went straight to the story, and on May is hot. Marissa Tomei still got it for her age, even though she's aged a bit, but she is still hot. Anyway, Michael Keaton is in that movie. I didn't think he was going to be the bad guy in the movie. He was. Uh, what was the guy's name? I'll tell you right now. What was Michael Keaton's name in that movie? Michael Keaton. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Michael Keaton and was he Firefly? No, Michael Keaton, Spider-Man. He was Michael Keaton was destined to play. Michael Keaton was destined was destined for Spider-Man Homecoming. And what was his character? Oh, the Vulture. That was the character's name. The Vulture. I find it weird that in that movie he's married to a black woman. And a very hot black woman, although she's put on a couple of pounds now. Garcelle Bouvier. She was a uh, fancy on the Jamie Foxx show. And Peter Parker's crush is a black girl. A cute black girl, I might add, too. Uh, what was the actress's name? I don't know. She's young. She's like 27 years old, but she looks really young. Don't blame me. Blame the youth of today. A lot of you 30-year-olds look like fucking 15 years old. And don't give me that look. There's a lot of you guys out there who have this fetish for girls who look like little boys. I'm not kidding. These girls are shaped like little boys with little, with little, they don't even have a bubble butt or, anyway, I'm going off topic. The point is, is that it was a black girl dating a Spider-Man, a cute girl, I might add, and the story is a little bit sad, though. This is where I'm lost, so spoiler alert. When I found out that the Vulture was, uh, could have easily been, could have easily been, whatchamacallit, uh, Peter Parker's, uh, I don't know, father-in-law, I guess. I mean, I don't know how many girlfriends Peter Parker's had. And it turns out that that actress, the character's name, the vulture's daughter, give me a second. What was the girl's name? Uh, the vulture's fighter, homecoming. 
Uh, do, 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 do. What is the name? Vulture. Uh, do, 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 do. Married to Doris Tumis, and together they had a Lee Liz Liz Tumis. Tum Tums. Yeah, Liz. I think that's a girl's name, Liz. I think she was in the original, well, not original, but the 1994 Spider-Man that came on Fox on Fox Kids back in the day. Remember that cartoon? I would watch that thing sometimes on Saturday mornings after WCW Wrestling. And, um, yeah, that's the part that lost me when, uh, when it was like, oh, God, here we go. And and the feud began, and they ne he, Peter Parker never got a chance to tell. Anyway, that character was in, the, was in that cartoon. She had really white hair as opposed to blonde hair. And she was supposedly friends with uh, Mary Jane. So now I don't even know what the fuck is the story with Mary Jane. And then you have, what's her name, from the other movie. I, never, I haven't seen Spider-Man 2 yet. Not the Tobey Maguire one, the one with uh, Andrew Heathcliff. Or, or what's that guy? I think that guy's named Andrew Heathcliff. He was, in the, he was in the Social Network movie. I haven't seen that one yet. But anyhow, the movie lost me when I, when I found out that the Vulture was, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, could have been the father-in-law. It would have been like the Incredible Hulk. I remember watching the Incredible Hulk cartoons, and uh, and there's a moment there where General Ross finally decides that Bruce Banner and him could get along and be friends. I like the it was the last episode of the cartoon. I'm going by the cartoon, not the comics here. And the cartoon said, "No, no, no, wait, wait, stay here. I mean, after all, you're all gonna be my son-in-law." He says, and he got out. To, he got he got to uh, go out with uh, Betty Ross, who was hot in that cartoon, blonde girl. But then again, blondes like to have more fun. I don't know. But they went with a black girl and. You know, interracial relationship is not a bad thing per se. We can't complain. You all complain about they always put a white woman on the pedestal, but now they put a black woman on the pedestal. And that's about it for now. It's 12 minutes. I got to get going now. I'm going to do another video later this afternoon because I got another important subject to talk about. But what is it going to be? Should I end this to be continued? Same bat time, same bat channel, your neighborhood Spider Man, superheroes. All right, I got to get out of here. It's 12 minutes. I think I, I, I've done enough. I got to keep these videos short because some of you have the intention span of a hummingbird. Okay, people, I want you to like me. Before I leave, I'm going to say this at the end of every video. I want you to like me on Facebook. I want you to follow me on Twitter. And I want you to email me at silvercatstv at outlook.com. All right, I'm gonna end every video like that because I am trying to grow. I ain't doing this shit for nothing. And if I get more likes on Facebook, I will make sure that the content does not mirror the other. But for the time being, both contents mirror each other. Why? This and this. Which is high? Which is less? Guess what? Which is high? Guess what? Which is less? Guess which one mirrors the other? I gotta get out of here. So, sayonara. But wait, there's more! Project Silvercats, the prices are insane! Or is it Crazy Eddie? The prices are insane! People, I want to show you something. It's hot today, and I don't have the air conditioner on. Why? Because I gotta make this video, and I gotta keep the room silent so you guys can hear me. Cup of coffee, in a second. I want to show you people something. This is a dollar, a dollar with George Washington on it. This dollar can be yours. All I need from you is to like my Facebook page. That's all I need. Twitter is easy. I don't really care about Twitter, but the Facebook page, I want it to grow. So for every like you get, a dollar. And I will mail you this dollar. All you got to do is hit me the direct message on this page or email me at silvercatstv at outlook.com. I'll say it one more time. Silvercatstv at outlook.com. I assume you can find on the info on which side of where the information is. I think it's on this no, it's on it's on this side right here. Yeah, this side. I think somewhere around there you could see it. And if you referred me to some likes, like if you're a friend or somebody who already likes this page and you want to refer me to some more friends then this five dollar will be yours and I will mail it to you personally with a thank you note saying thank you for liking my page 
and let the bygones be bygones. And for every like I get, I will up, I will up the notch. Five dollars. So one more time, people. A dollar for every like you want. For every like I get, new like. Email me. You gotta email me because if you don't email me with your with the direct uh, with uh, with your information, I can't mail you anything. What am I gonna do? Mail it. Send it to, to the person who liked this page. I'm not the guy from Swordfish, you know. Stanley Gable, I think is the guy's name. Oh, what's the guy's name? Stanley Yipkis? I don't know. And this five dollar is for referral. If you liked it already, if you like this page already, then get me some likes, and this five dollar will be yours. Look at this free lunch on me. And yes, you could get lunch for five bucks. You just gotta know where to shop, unless you wanna be high maintenance. And I don't eat that stuff because it goes down to my thighs. And last but not least, if I like you, and it doesn't matter if I like you or not, just like the page. That's all I need. And whoever hits the like button at one hundred. No, you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit. I'm gonna be a little bit straightforward. If I could get a like, if you're no, if you're like number twenty, no, yeah, no, like number thirty. If you are like number thirty, that means that when you hit the like button, and it was twenty nine, and you liked, and it says thirty now, this twenty dollar will be yours. This is my way of buying likes. They say you're not supposed to buy likes on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube. But uh, just between you and me, no one has to know because I'm paying you directly. And it's costing me money. Aside from 20 bucks, i got to pay for a stamp and do it the old-fashioned way. So, you decide. You decide. One for each like. Referral, five bucks. And if you're like number 30, no. If you're like number 30, 20. So, you decide, people. And folks, like a stripper, I got a lot of singles. I got a lot of singles, people. I got a lot of singles to share. So hit the like button. And oh, and I'll throw in a 10 if you subscribe to my Facebook. No, not that the YouTube channel. Oh, well. I got to get out of here. I got to go hit the street right now. So bon voyage, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Hey.